Hi, let's solve limits using tables and graphs. Let's begin with the first type of limit, which is on two-sided limits. Okay, so kindly prepare your two-liner calculators and your decimals. Let's have the first item. For the first example, you have the x values which are already uploaded or which are already indicated here. So that means na um, meron nang pre-selected x values. We chose the following values for x for standardization para pareho, pareho po tayo ng ginagawa. And we chose um, where to start and where to end as calculus teachers. But then again, these are not the only ways and how you would be able to reflect the increment of the x-axis. Well, we, we just did this para pare pareho po tayo ng ginagawa, but there is no specific um, way. Kumbaga, we just decided upon this one. But you could also have 3.9, 3.99, 3.999, and use that kind of table. For our class, this is the table that we opted to do. So the function is, or the we are getting the limit of the function x plus 2 as x approaches 4. So for the uh, first table is from low to high, we opted to subtract 2. And then we used 8 values. For the first 4, four values of x, you would notice that the increment is 0 0.5. And then as the x approaches 4, as x approaches 4 here, you would now see that it uh, has an increment of 0 0.1. Again, I want you to take note of that. For the first four values, you would observe that the difference is at 0 0.5. And for the rest of the values, you will notice that the increment is at 0 0.1 because we come closer and closer to whatever your x value approaches here. Same with the high to low table, we added to to whatever the x value approaches, or in this case, it's we call it a. So we have six here, and then the increment is by 0 0.5 for the first four values. Tapos unti unti nag 0.1 na siya as we approach four. Okay, as your x values approach four. Now, what we have to do here is to simply substitute the values that we have in our table to the equation or to the function that we are solving. In this case, we have 2 substitute here. So 2 plus 2, you get 4. And then 2.5 substitute here. 2.5 plus 2 is 4.5. Then continue with that, 3, you'll get 5, and then 5.5, 5 5.6, 5 5.7, 5.8, and 5.9. For the other table now, low to uh, high to low, you substitute 6 here, so 6 plus 2, you'll get 8. 5.5 .5 is 7.5, 5 plus 2, 7, 6.5, 6.4, 6.3, 6.2, and 6.1. You could use your calculators here. I taught you how to use your calculators, the table features in your calculators. And uh, you could do that as well. So you don't have to substitute one by one. However, if you're using one-liner calculators, you really have to substitute one by one. I think I've already given you as well a copy of the software that you could download uh, that you could use on your desktop so you could uh, have a scientific calculator on your desktop, installed on your desktop, okay? Now let's observe the values that we are approaching. So as our x value comes closer and closer to 4 on both tables, our function now also comes closer and closer to a certain value. And in this case, that certain value is 6 it gets closer and closer to 6. So as we are moving towards 4 on your x values, your function also moves towards a certain number. And it, in this example, we got 6. This is now the limit. So the limit of the function is 6. 
this is an example again of a two-sided limit because both of the tables are approaching the same values and both of the tables have values in themselves. Therefore, again, this is an example of a two-sided limit. For you to be able to understand that even further, let's look at how the graph would look like. Okay, let's open our Desmos now and check how would the graph look like. Let me share the screen for you. Okay, so let's type it in. We have x plus 2 as our function. So x plus 2, there we go. And then we try to zoom that in. And... As our x values approach 4, let's show that. As our x values approach 4, both from the left and from the right, your function, the red line itself, is also approaching a certain value. Okay? So let's project. Let's project. If we would project 4 here. We are approaching a certain value, both from left and from the right. And we are actually approaching 6. And this is what we were able to solve a while ago, right? So uh, we type that label now, 4, 6. And then check the label and state that it is the limit of your function. There we go. Okay. So again, I want you to observe closely. As we move closer and closer to 4, as we move closer and closer to 4, your function also moves closer and closer to a certain number. And in this case, it is 6. So that's it for direct, uh, that's it for tables and graphs for two-sided limits. In the next video, we'll have tables and graphs for one-sided limits.